Hi, my name is Dan. This video will cover the software installation and setup for your ION video to PC. There are two parts to this installation. The first part is installing the drivers. The drivers allow your computer to communicate with the video to PC device. The second part is installing the CyberLink PowerDirector software, which is the program you will use to record and edit and publish your videos. On my screen here, I have an internet browser window open, Google Chrome in this case. We are going to install the video to PC drivers directly from the Ion Audio website. This is to ensure that we have the latest version available. Let's go to the top bar of the internet browser here and type in www.ionaudio.com. Hit your enter key. Here is the Ion Audio website. Click in the search box at the top right corner and type in the word video. You'll see some search results appear. Click on Video to PC MK2. Now here's the product page for the Video to PC. Let's scroll down a bit. You'll see the Documents and Downloads section here. Now there's quite a few files here, but we only need one. Click on Drivers. With this internet browser, Chrome, downloads will automatically begin and the progress will be displayed at the bottom of the window. When the download completes, simply click on the download indicator and this window will appear. This is the Video to PC driver installer. Now if you're using another internet browser like a Firefox or Internet Explorer, this may look a bit different. To show you this, I'm going to open a Firefox window to the same Ion web page. I'm going to click on the same drivers link. But now you'll see that Firefox actually asks me what I want to do with the downloaded file. Simply select Open With and the download will begin. Now different internet browsers may display the progress of the download in different places or in different ways, but rest assured the file is downloading. When the download is complete, the window containing the Video to PC driver installer will open up. Let's double click on the Video to PC MK2 Setup icon here. You may see a prompt indicating the publisher could not be verified. This is a normal prompt that Windows displays with files that are downloaded from the internet. Just click Run to begin the installation. When the installer begins, follow the prompts and click Next to start the installation. Now the amount of time the installation takes will vary from computer to computer, but generally it shouldn't take too long. Eventually you'll make it to this last menu here where it will ask you to reset your computer. Make sure the Yes, I want to restart my computer now icon is checked, then click the Finish button. Okay, now that our computer is restarted, we're ready to install the CyberLink PowerDirector software. This is the software you're going to use to do your recording and editing and publishing of your videos. Insert the software CD that came with your video to PC. Shortly after inserting the CD, you'll see an autoplay window appear. Select runinstall.exe. You'll now see a video to PC installation window appear. From the install section, Let's click Software. In a moment, you'll see a black window appear for a short period of time, followed by another window asking you to choose your setup language. Choose the appropriate language and click OK. Now, as with the driver installation, the amount of time the software installation takes can vary. The PowerDirector installation will generally take a bit longer than the drivers, though. This video will progress a bit quicker than what you may experience on your computer, that's normal. There will also be quite a few more menus to this installation. Simply read the instructions and click the next button to progress through. The last window of the installation here will say, Install Shield Wizard Complete. Setup completed the installation of CyberLink PowerDirector. Click Finish. We can now close the Video to PC installation window here. You'll now notice there is a PowerDirector icon on your desktop. Now your desktop may have many more icons than mine has here. That's okay. The PowerDirector icon will be labeled with the name below it. Let's double click the PowerDirector icon to open it up and get started. 
The first time you open PowerDirector, it will ask you for your activation key. This can be found on the cover for the Video to PC software installation CD. Carefully type your activation key in and then click Next. You should see a notification that you have activated the CyberLink PowerDirector software. Click OK and PowerDirector will begin to open. When PowerDirector opens, click the word Capture near the upper left corner. This is where you will do all your video recording. PowerDirector will automatically look for attached video devices, in this case, your video to PC. Give it a moment to initialize your video to PC. There are many icons across the top of this screen indicating different types of video and audio sources. When using the video to PC, always choose the third icon from the left, which is a picture of a TV with an antenna. It will be labeled Capture from a TV Signal. PowerDirector generally defaults to the correct video and audio settings, but let's check to make sure. Click the Settings button near the bottom right-hand corner. There are two settings we want to ensure are in place. You have two Capture Source options with the Video to PC, Composite and S-Video. Composite refers to the yellow connector on your Video to PC. Many video sources will also have an S video connection, which is of a slightly better quality. Only one needs to be used at a time with the video to PC. Select the one that you have connected to your video to PC here. The audio device setting should be set to USB 2861 device. Click OK to save these settings and close the window. Now, begin playing your video source. In this case, I have a VCR connected to my video to PC. When I press play, the video immediately appears for you to preview. You will hear the sound as well, although I've muted my sound for this video. To begin recording, simply press the record button. Down towards the right, you will see the amount of space your recording is taking increase, confirming your recording is taking place. When you are done recording, Click the record button again to stop. PowerDirector will now ask you what you would like to name this file. To record again, simply press the record button again. Name the new recording and this will be added to the bin. If we go to the Edit menu, you will see our clips have already been added to this bin and to the timeline below. You can drag and drop any file from this bin down into the timeline and create your own custom videos. PowerDirector is a very flexible program, and to make the most of it, be sure to read through the user guide. All of CyberLink's user guides can be found and downloaded from their website. Here's the link. If you have any trouble following this video, or if you need further support, the technical support team at Ion Audio would be happy to help. You can contact them by visiting www.ionaudio.com forward slash support. Thank you for taking the time to set up your video to PC software. Enjoy!